Education is the only means by which we can eliminate prejudice and racism and in their place build compassion, tolerance, friendship, and the belief in the unconditional dignity of all men. We have historically been eliminated from the decision-making processes that directly affect our lives. We find ourselves without adequate advocacy. Being a 60s uh, student myself, you kind of think that everything really got started in the 60s. All of the change and agitation and nothing could be further from the truth. I first became aware of Herman when I was doing the project, but as I was working with him, that's also when I quickly realized that we didn't have as much material on African American history, particularly revolving around students. What's missing? What gaps do we need to fill? Like Mabel Bird, she was by herself. She was probably the only black person in Eugene. She worked as a maid in one of the professor's houses and went to class. It was Robert Robinson and Charles Williams. They were the first two African-American athletes at the University of Oregon in 1926. The dormitories began to be integrated because of the white football players who were teammates of Robinson and Williams. They wrote a petition and eventually it was done at uh, Friendly Hall. They built a separate apartment with a separate entrance, but they were, once they got into their apartment, they had access to the entire uh, building where the other football players lived. They all had to overcome barriers uh, to get an education at the University of Oregon. The, the kind of minority communities we have in Oregon tend to be experiencing a kind of social and economic debt that, that I think can be altered by inviting more and, and assisting more get students getting through college. Throughout that period, there was a lot of hostility on campus, you know, because if you look back at the 60s, people were getting killed, you know. When I remember walking across campus, people were screaming that the president had been shot, you know, and so I ran to the dorm and talked to some other students, and finally we learned that our president had been killed. And then later on, Malcolm X was killed, other civil rights leaders down south were getting killed. Bobby Kennedy was killed. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. Once again, our nation has been plunged into mourning as a result of an assassin striking down a truly great leader. Black history is not uh, a black club. You know, it's, it's history. Like Mabel Byrd, uh, she worked with W.E.B. Du Bois, who was the most prominent civil rights figure uh, in the 20s and 30s and up through the 40s. Uh, she was his right-hand person. Once you read her story, you have to be inspired. We must all do our part to ensure that we create the beloved community that Dr. King envisioned. The one single factor that causes social change is people being determined that they're going to make it happen and not get discouraged, uh, not get off the track. Even when things don't seem to be going well, you got to stay with it. <laughs>